Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, how are you? How's everything? Today we will talk about 13.2, which is close to 13.1, but here equivalent fractions use the number line. Let's watch the video. How can you use number lines to find equivalent fractions? Think about this question during the lesson. The Circle W Ranch One Mile Trail has water for cattle at each one-fourth mile mark. The Big T Ranch One Mile Trail has water for cattle at the one-half mile mark. What fractions name the points on the trails where there is water for cattle at the same distance from the start of each trail? Let's find out. What is the same about the drawings of the two trails? Okay, if we see the two trails here, they start at the same point they end at the same point. So the same about the drawings of the two trays that they have the same length. They are both the same length and they both represent one mile. What is different about the drawings of the two trails? What is the difference about the drawings of the two trails? The Circle W Ranch Trail as we see here, it divided into four parts. One, two, three, four. And the Big T Ranch Trail divided into two parts. One, two. This is the difference between them. The drawing for the Circle W Ranch Trail is divided into four equal parts. The drawing for the Big T Ranch Trail is divided into two equal parts. You can use number lines to find the fractions. What fraction is missing on the number line? Select your answer. Okay. What is the missing part or the missing fraction in the second number line? As we can see here, the first number line is divided into four. So the first point will not count it. This is one over four, two over four, three over four, and four over four, which is the one. The second number line, which is divided into two parts, we will not count the first one. So this is first part and second. Because divided into two parts, it means out of two. And this point is, this is the zero, and this is the first, which is the one. So it means this fraction is one over two. Equivalent fractions are different names for the same point on a number line. Two fourths and one half name the same part of the whole. So two fourths equals one half. So because they have the same distance from zero to here, this to the red point and from zero to the red point, it means two over four and one over two are equivalent, they are equal. But be careful that the two number lines should be the same distance. So these two number lines, they have the same distance. If the second number line ends here and the first number line wait if this se uh, second number line ends here and the first number line ends here the same and there are two points above each other are these two points equivalent no so first condition should the number line be, both number lines should be the same, same distance, okay? Then after two points come above each others, like two over four and one over two, so they are equivalent.
Let's continue. How do you know that one half and two fourths are both names for the same location on the number lines? They name the same points on the number lines. So, let's try it. Drag the slider to explore equivalent fractions. Okay, here we have three number lines. They are the ha both of all of them. They have same length from zero to one. Okay, let's drag this. Okay, here we have two points above each other, which is two over eight. The first number line divide into eighth parts. The second number line four fourth parts, and the third one into two parts. Okay. Any two points above each other, and all the number lines are the same, so they are equivalent. So two over eight and one over four are equivalent. Let's move more. Here we have one over two equal to two over four equal to four over eight. So in this point, we have three equivalent fractions. Here we do not have we have only one fraction. Here we have two fractions, six over eight equal three over four. And here, all of them are one which they are equal. The fractions two fourths and one half name the same points on the trails where there is water for cattle. They are at the same distance from the start of the trails. Now you know how you can use number lines to find equivalent fractions. Okay, let's move to the page 681. Question number three. In three and four, write two fractions that name the same location on the number line. Okay, the red point it comes after 2 over 6, and before 4 over 6, it means here 3 over 6. Okay, 3 over 6, which is equivalent to which fraction? Let me draw a number line with the same length of the previous number line, and I will divide into 2. This is the first point and the second point. Because I divide into 2, so I will put the first point out of 2. So this point 1 over 2, and here 1 here zero so from zero to one i divide this number line into two parts so three over six is equivalent to one over eight so here three over six three over six equals to one over two question number four the first number line divide into eight parts. So I will draw a number line. Same length. And I will divide this to this point one over four, this point two over four, this point and here. So one over four, two over four, here three over four. And here, after 5 over 8, will become 6 over 8. Six over 8. So 6 over 8 and 3 over 4 are equivalent. 6 over 8 equal to 3 over 4. Okay, let's move to question number eight. Write two fractions that the name the same location on the number line. Here I will draw a number line out of three. So this is the first point, one over three. This is the second point, two over three. Here will be three over three which is equivalent to here will be 6 over 6 because after 5 over 6 will become 6 over 6. So 6 over 6 equivalent to 
3 over 3. Moving to the next page. And solve number 14, which fraction is not equivalent to 3 over 6? 3 over 6, which is in the middle between 0 and 1, it's in the middle. So which fraction is not equivalent to 3 over 6? So as we know that 3 is half of 6 means it's in the middle, it's in the half of the halfway of the number line. So 1 over 2 also halfway of number line. 2 over 4 also 2 half of the way of 4. 4 over 8 which is also half of the way of 8. So which is not, all of these 3 are equivalent and which is not equivalent which is B. 2 over 3, 2 is not half of 3. Which fraction, question number 15, which fraction is equivalent to 4 over 8? Same, 4 over 8, as we know that 4 is the half of 8, so it's in the, uh, he located in the mid, uh, in the mid of between 0 and 1. So, question, so part C, 2 out of 4, which is in the middle. So, 2 is half of 4, so which fraction is equivalent to over 4, because it's halfway of 4. And 3 is not halfway of 8, so it's not half of the 8. 3 over 4, 3 is not half of 4, and 1 is not half of 4. So the correct answer will be C.